the biggest fans of Hazlitt basketball ever. I mean, we tried out, but our skills weren't up to par. I mean, my trifecta wasn't hitting, his trifecta wasn't hitting. All I could do was rebound. So, uh, well, basically, we did the next best thing in sport, Hazlitt basketball, in any way, shape, or form. Why do I do this? I was, like, born to do this. Like, it's a calling, not, like, a it's not like I want to do this. It wants me to do this. We were put on this earth to do this. It's, we were born to do it. It's our destiny. We wanted him to grow up in the best environment as possible. And he was always surrounded by good things, good people, and lots of love. Okay, ever since he was little, you could just look at him and tell he was going to be something very special. Who does he take after? I think he looks a lot like his mom. She's always said that it's the, the Italian side of her family, but I don't think so. Who, the guy with the sheriff glasses and the, the jersey, the tight jersey? Oh, that's, that's Wally. That's uh, Chase's friend. I thought he was your friend. No. Oh. I thought you, he, uh, I thought you guys were friends. I thought you guys were friends. I, I just, he just showed up, I guess. Yeah. We, he's Wally. He's really loud. What's his real name? I have no idea. Just Wally. Yeah. Traditions? Yeah, yeah, we got him. We got him. Well, we, we eat our special, we get what, Raymond noodle soup. Raymond noodle get our, soup. Get our carbohydrate, protein, protein, so we can yell. Yep. And then where we uh, we get professionally stretched by Anita, our trainer. Yeah. Long, we strenuous stretches. Half hour each, at least. She can't she pull a hammy. Exactly. My tail. I can't pull the tail. She's got to stretch the tail. I met Dustin and Chase in the beginning of the basketball season when they came in in their outfits to come and get stretched. Of course, I couldn't resist and they were so cute so I had to stretch them but towards the end of the season they were getting kind of picky and placing all these demands on me to get stretched so I was getting pretty annoyed with them. Signals, uh, cheers, yeah we have special cheers for every player. We have one for every player, sometimes two depending on the name and how many we can think of. Um, you might sometimes see us doing this. That's, a, that's for uh, Scott Allen, big up the people's Bigger. elbow because he wears the wrist, the elbow pad right there. With the, we like to represent for bigger. We also got uh, Carlton Hill, and uh, show him the hill. Show him the hill. We 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 start out like this, and we go like this. Rolling hills, baby. Carlton Hill. And then, Tom Short. Tom Short. Yep, do it. Hook it up. Cause he's short. He's Tom Short. That's Tom Short. Yeah. And then we got uh, Big Brent McIntosh, Mac Daddy. Mac the big, Mac. the big Mac. He's just, he's just intimidating. Yeah. So uh, we hooked that up with a little. Mac. That's right. Big Mac. They all mean something in some way. Yep. And uh, we do the cheers when they make a play, or when they come into the game, or just something, just a big play. Yeah. Something they do something good. We reward, we we reward them with their cheers. Like we are like the leaders. Of the student section. We own, like. <laughs> cheerleaders don't do anything. Like, they ask us to do cheers for them so they can, like, I don't know, get their job done, but we really do the job for them. Like, we, own, like, we are the tempo of the crowd. We, if, we own the crowd. If, we, we want, if, if we're not there, even though we always go to every game, I don't think they would exist. 
much respect from the community. I mean, the community loves us. I mean, we're community. We're icons. Yeah. I mean, we'll come to games and families just love to see us. We get I mean, photo ops with little kids. Kids, they want to take pictures with us. We got a birthday party. Like, people want to do birthday parties. They want us to do. Oh, hey, how's it going? We do pictures. We do photo ops. Every student knows our name Everyone and they know who us. we are, like our schedules, and like they try to get in the same classes as we do. And like, I mean, every class I have has like 35 kids in it. Yeah, it's just, they, it's just huge. I mean, I'm not trying to brag or whatever, but we're just, we are popular. I can't, I yeah. just can't say it any other way. I mean, girls too. Girls, they're always girls are there. I mean, my cell phone's ringing off the hook because of girls. Exactly. The two guys dressed up for basketball games. Yeah, they're cute. Date them. No. I don't even know their names. Who are they? Those two are in my grade? I didn't know that. Um, I've been dating Dustin since about the sixth grade. And I'm just like, I was, I should say, just madly in love with him. And he was just perfect. And we got along great. And we did everything together. And then we were at his house before the first basketball game of the season and I was waiting for him to get ready and all of a sudden he walks out in this bear costume and I was like uh-uh you are not wearing that and he would not take it off of me and I was we just got in this big fight and I was like listen buddy you gotta choose between me or this costume because I wasn't going to be seen in public with that and he picked the costume and I guess basketball and his little bear thing was just more important than me. And I moved here at the beginning of the year, and I met Chase my first day, and yep, it was love at first sight. I mean, who could resist him? But, you know, things were going really well, and he was introducing me to new people and showing me around. And then basketball season started, and I thought it would be really fun because new people. And then Chase decided he's going to start dressing up like a tiger, and I thought maybe people here do that. But then I decided that only Chase and his friend did that, so I couldn't take it anymore. And then it just really set me off when we go out in public, and I'd have to walk around with a big orange tiger in all the stores in the mall, and I just couldn't handle it. So I had to let Chase go, unfortunately. Ascot? Not crazy? No, 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 Victor the Viking is a mascot. I'm not a Viking. He like, yeah, he like shows up for like five minutes each game. We're there the yeah. whole game. We're start to finish. We we're better than a mascot. This interview is almost over. If you call me a mascot one more time. Exactly. I don't like that word. I don't no. ever want to hear that word again. And then like, people are always like, are you gonna wear your costumes tonight? What, what costumes? costumes? Like, are you gonna wear? What do you like? And they expect us to be for Halloween. I was a ghost for Halloween. I was a mummy. We talk. I just don't understand people sometimes. They just ugh. I mean, they, they just don't. They don't get it. Yeah. What have we accomplished? We've accomplished many things. I mean, they did like a special newscast on us at like prime time news. It was huge. Like it's like one of those like sixty minutes. Like they did a special like on us. Basically, us and Wally was there too. Yeah, and I mean, Wally, Wally we, was there. We were just. We're, we're huge. That was for me. That's like people don't think that's like an accomplishment. Of course, it's an accomplishment. Have you been on the news? Exactly. How many people do you know that have been on the news? Like special news report. Like it was like. It's like breaking news. I think they broke in during a show or something. I don't yeah. know. Has always a dandy rivalry. Cute. Dandy, that's a great word. Tigger. Vikings. Calvin Hisson singing away from free land. He's loving it. But do it hanging around. That's definitely going on my resume exactly. when I when I apply for my future jobs. Yeah, if we go to college, maybe we'll cheer somewhere at college. I don't know. I'd like to keep on cheering. I mean, sure, this yeah. whole, it's been my whole life. I would definitely, definitely love to cheer at Division One collegiate level. I mean, I've gotten some offers from D2, but I'm waiting for those D1 schools to come through. We're always I mean, welcome. We're always there. I mean, we're at all the extra functions. I mean, players love us. We sometimes even go to practices. I mean, just to support them, you know? This is Tom Short. He's my favorite player. We're really close. 
and we've been friends for a long time. We're like brothers. Sometimes we even finish each other's sentences. Yeah, I've known Chase for quite a while. I met him after one of the games at a party one time, but I don't think we've ever finished each other's, each other's sentences. <laughs> so, you know, I just want to say thank you to the Hasla High School and community for being such a good, great place for me to cheer and to grow up and become the man I became to be. Yeah, thanks to my parents. Thanks Coach P and Coach Bat. I mean, for providing us with a basketball team that I love so much. Thanks to all the players. Had yeah. great seasons with you guys in the past.